Hello everybody, this is Leia Lahnaini. I'm the Medical and Health Sciences Librarian at Saab Medical Library at AUB. Welcome to this session about the end note about easing your way to your citations. Let's start off with today's uh, session by stating the objectives. By the end of the session, you'll be able to understand what is end note. What do we mean when we say end note? You'll be able to download end note to your laptop automatically. The add ends will be there which enable you to cite directly in text and through the references. You'll be able to be acquainted with the EndNote features. You'll be able to export from different databases such as Medline, PubMed, Google Scholar, and Embase. You'll be able to add references from PDFs and not just one PDF and the citations. Let's start off by discussing what do we mean by an endnote? Is it a citation analysis or a citation management tool? AUB is competing with one of the with, with the top prestigious universities in the US by getting two of the resources of each resource. For example, it gets both Scopus and Web of Science, which are citation analysis tools that give you the H index, how many times the articles have been cited, so on and so forth, more indicators about citations. And it also gets both RefWorks and EndNote, which are paid citation management tools. And when I say management, what do I mean by management? I'm getting resources that I want to cite, I'm folderizing them, I'm labeling them, I'm collecting them. It's a reservoir, a hub, a pool to collect all the references that I want to cite in my Word document. And it also helps me to cite them towards the end of co the collection and other features to learn about. How can you add a journal style, style to the list of styles if not present? Is it possible in Kahoot? Yes, it is possible. So many advanced features are there in uh, the, the EndNote that you won't be able to learn unless you come to this libguide, which I'll be providing with the, the link for you towards the end. And if you go to other features, it will tell you that you can download journal style, which is not there, into and notes st output styles that are there if you simply click on the link and follow the steps you'll be able to add this journal style carrying on you cannot edit an output style so if i added a journal style or if there is a journal style already but i have it altered would I be able to do so in EndNote? Yes, I can edit an output style. For example, sometimes they write Smith as the author's name, comma, A dot. But in the output style, it's present as Smith A. Would I be able to do this differentiation in the index citation? Yes. This is more advanced, but I'm telling you all the features about EndNote. When you finish collecting the resources in EndNote, the bibliography only shows you the Word document. No, it's not just the bibliography that shows the Word document. It's both the bibliography, which is the citation, the reference citation, and the in-text citation. And it differs between MLA style, APA style, Vancouver, Chicago, so on and so forth. You cannot add the full text content to EndNote. Yes, you can add the full text to EndNote, the PDFs if they're if present at AUB. Uh, upon downloading EndNote from AUB, because it's a paid for subscription, you have to download it first from on campus. With the current coronavirus uh, situation, the IT is helping around in uh, downloading EndNote client off campus. Um, PDFs would have been collected on and off uh, campus previously but for security reasons PDFs are only collected on campus. I'm going to show you how to add the PDFs to EndNote. 
We're going to discuss this later in this uh, session. To the PDFs, you can add sticky notes, highlight texts, strike through or all of the above. The answer is all of the above. You can add all of these. You can share the library with colleagues of yours. Yes, of course you can share the library, which saves on time for other colleagues. If you're doing the same, collaborating the same work, for them to do the work again. What is the link between EndNote Web and EndNote Client, which we're going to be discussing now? They sync the results. EndNote Web serves as a backup. EndNote Web is not free. Both red and blue options. Yes, the answer is the red and blue. EndNote Web serves as a backup for EndNote Client. For example, if you came to the university with no computer on you, um, or, for example, God forbid, uh, your computer happens to have some malfunctioning, then EndNote Web will always have the synced uh, references to you. And I'm going to show you how to sync EndNote Web and EndNote Client. And EndNote Web is free. So it's a web account which you create, sign up the first time, or register the first time, and sign in every other time. What are other citation management tools that are free? Mendeley and Zotero. What's the difference? What's the added value of the downloading EndNote? It's the adding of the full text. The PDFs. It searches in the hub of the university that you are in, collects what's there, and add it. When you change universities, for example, there's no need for you to re-download EndNote again. You can go to the link of the journal finder and change the find full text there. I'm going to show you how during the course of this session. Okay. Let's carry on with our session. So, we define what EndNote is. It's a pool reservoir repository to collect resources that I'll be using to citing my papers and towards the end I'll be able to cite both the in-text and the bibliography. If we were in real class, I would have asked somebody of you to do this as a puzzle and he or she would get us get a giveaway. What are EndNote features? How do we start off with EndNote? The very first thing is for me to download EndNote. How do I go and download? Shared with you in this PowerPoint presentation is the link for this libguide created by me five years ago. So you download from here. If you are working on Mac, it would unzip automatically. If you're not working on Mac, it's a regular Windows PC or laptop. You would have to unzip or extract the fo folder before you install it. Else, it would be asking you to get the product key, which is not what we want. This is the first step of downloading EndNote. You will have to close all the Outlook, all Word, or Excel, or Microsoft Office for it to add the add-in EndNote there. After this is done, the first thing I have to do is start collecting my references. Because I already have an EndNote library, it will always open the most recent EndNote library that I have. But say, it's the first time I work with EndNote, and I've never worked with it before. I would come and say file, new, and name it. Look, it will always have for me a folder with a library. When you want to share, if you have the capacity of doing this, you have to share both. Else, I would show you how to share the zipped library, which happens to be like this with a zip folder towards it. What are the features there? As you can see, it opens a new library. I don't have any references in there yet. It's of three columns. The fields display the groups, smart groups, adding PDFs, sharing of library, and doing in-text and bibliography simultaneously. These are the features. So we download, we open a new library, and start adding or exporting references. 
how do add how do we add and export references from each database again if you go scroll down and come for example to medline when you want to export from medline to endnote these are the steps that you are to follow there are also youtube tutorials attached to this libcard but we're gonna go over them here How to export from PubMed, Google Scholar, Medline, and Base, a refresher of the concept of the controlled vocab and some tricks. Okay, so for example, in PubMed, we have the concept, uh, we have the topic, how should we do perioperative chemotherapy for colorectal cancer, liver metastasis, the opinion from single institution by the prospective study. So I have, when I tackle the foreground question, I think, um, You've done this already, but I will do a refresher. So, I have two types of questions as medical questions. The background question and the foreground question. The background question serves the novice researchers versus the foreground question serves the expert researchers. What's the difference between this and this? The background question tells me about the five W's. It's a general question. For example, I want to know more about COVID-19. But when it's COVID-19 and Lebanon, so at least two concepts together, it becomes a foreground question, a researcher question. Here, I can get the resources from textbooks versus here, I should be getting them from journal peer-reviewed articles now that we've tackled uh, what's the difference between the two medical questions the background and the foreground question now we know by that we're tackling in this question the PubMed question a foreground question right so I have to follow the following steps upon doing the foreground question break down the topic into concepts into concepts search each concept alone for its what controlled vocab and then combine the different concepts using the boolean operators which are the and or and not what do i mean by a controlled vocab as an indexer i receive many articles that are talking about the concept of cancer but one of the authors have written cancer as tumor american another author tumor british and another author malignant neoplas cancer so it's like a hashtag on instagram i'm collecting i'm saving time on all the researchers in the world and collecting all what they've done for the other researchers to search for a specific concept a specific tag or controlled vocab for them in pubmed and medline this controlled vocab is called the medical subject heading the mesh in mbase this is called the m3 so what's the difference between a controlled vocab and non-controlled vocab I have two types of databases. What we're tackling in PubMed, Medline, and Base, we are talking about a controlled vocab database and not a keyword database like in Google Scholar. So, what's the difference between this and this? This allows me to look for what the article is talking about because upon indexing, you have assigned a controlled vocab for the talking about and not the mentioning the silly dumb versus the relevant smart searching which what i want to go about continuation is in the second video